So as the title says, this video is going to be towards advanced VSA traders, but in the sense of quick videos, it's a series of videos that I'm going to be making once a week for, or, or maybe twice a week, depending on the amounts of trades that we did take. But in general, um, it's going to be geared towards traders that have actually experience with volume spread analysis and on top of that price action. They don't have to be masters at it. They just know the terminology behind it and the reason behind using volume. So these are the trades. They just get, gain experience from my mistakes or from my actual rewards or my wins and losses. So this was the first trade of the week. So starting from Monday of last week, we ended up taking a short position right here on this trade right here. And we took the actual short position based off of this um this position that happened right here, this push down right here, I would not call this the proper trade for a uh, ND just because of the fact that um, it wasn't exactly perfectly and because it was slightly higher just by a tad bit. But I, you know, confirmed, you know, the push down. So I ended up taking the trade. Anyways, we ended up getting stopped out for a small loss uh, during when we were sleeping pretty much around 4 a.m. Pushed up, stopped us out. And then continued down. But when we woke up, we ended up taking the trade right here. As we can look at this trade actually that happened. I already spoke about this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go into details. We had a spike in volume right here. Push up again over here. And as you can see, price came back up. Retested, failed, pushed back down. Then an actual uh, no demand that formed again right there. Confirmed on the next candle. Take we took the trade right here. Pushed all the way down. Took and we took our profits properly, exactly how we liked them. Um, nothing more to it. We ended up exit position, and that was that trade. We ended up coming back. I uh, did not trade Asia. We ended up coming back into um, New York, as you can see. I ended up taking a short position right here on this candle. Um, we came off of a double top that already formed, pushed down, and we came back up and retested. So now the mistake that I probably made on this was the fact that I jumped a gun too quickly because of the fact that we just barely closed below all of this and pushed back up. So we pushed back up against and the next candle as we pushed back up, you can see the volume is decreasing. So there isn't any selling pressure. So as we push back up again, I should have never took this trade right here because we ended up closing back above. So as you can see on price action, this is not a good uh, bearish signal. This is more of a bullish signal. And we ended up closing back above this. I ended up taking a short right here. And as soon as we close right there, I should have exited the position for a very small profit. I ended up staying in the position. We ended up getting stopped out above here. Price shot up all the way. Now, could you have taken this as far as a uh, long position goes? Yes, you could have taken this long because of the fact that we came back and retested something similar to the previous trade. We retested this area right here. And as you can see, price came down, touched. Again, if I'm going too fast in these videos, uh, we all know about the pause button. And you can actually, you know, go back, rewind very easily. You can do it on your phone, any device. It's kind of easy. That's the beauty of YouTube. But anyways, if I'm going too fast, just leave in the comments and I'll start to slow down just a little bit. If I go too slow, people get bored and I don't like that. So anyways, we came back and we tested this. We tested this area right here and we ended up, you know, pushing back above because we already had our spike in volume that happened right here. Your confirmation to enter the trade was on this candle right here. We came back up and tested that actual no supply that formed right there. As you can see at the bottom right here, I ended up missing the trade. I back tra back up my trades and go because uh, I journal my trades. So I look back what was the reason behind my loss. And that was the actual reason. There was This was actually buying pressure that was coming into everything over here. Anyways, we pushed up and kept on going back up. Now we ended up taking a trade over here because we had a push up all the way up. You know, we had close above, close above, and then we had all of a sudden this candle that ended up pushing down heavily, closing more than halfway with a confirmation of a you no know, demand that came in. I took this aggressively based on the fact of two matters. I took a trade here, and on top of that, we broke below this no demand. 
So once we broke below, I did not wait for the close. This is very aggressive. Do not take these trades if you're risking heavy. If you're risking heavy, you're taking too much of an aggressive trade because the price can just push right back up and then start to come back down. So anyways, we took this trade. Uh, we ended up exiting first position here, second position here, and we ended up taking the rest of all of our position, all closed it out in this area right here as price pushed back up over here. And that was that trade. Now, the next day after that, we ended up taking another trade over here. As you can see, we took this trade right here. And we went short on this. We ended up getting stopped out over here. Took another short. We ended up taking profit right here. Move stop, break even. And we did. We ended up pushing back stop above. And we ended up taking another short. We ended up getting stopped out right here. But I ended up taking a short position during live a live session that I ended up taking. Um, you can go check that video out. And I say exactly, I took the trade right here on a one minute candle. Uh, this is my last uh, trade that I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show exactly why I did take that trade so we can look. Uh, let's get a quick analysis. You can see, boom, right there. We had a quick, took the trade live right here. We had a break above. Spike in volume does not have to be higher than this candle. The important thing is a spike in volume. Spike in volume compared to your background. So pretty much compared to all this right here, we had a spike in volume. Spike in volume to the upside with a bearish reaction closed below more than halfway position. This is considered bears coming into the market and selling. So we ended up selling with them. And that's exactly what happened. Let's get a little quick. And that was what happened. As you can see, as you can see, we paused, paused until we ended up breaking below and ended up closing out position right, if I remember, right here. That's when we stopped, we got out, and that was roughly about 70 pips, 65 pips on that trade. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Please subscribe, and uh, don't forget to like. And this video series will be up uh, probably two times or one time a week. Peace out.